Merry Christmas! Hi everybody! Merry Christmas to everybody! Welcome to my channel. My name is Gloria. I'm from Crafting with the Heart. I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday. Had a wonderful holiday. Um, I'm here late, but better late than never. So I'm here to show you my home tour. Uh, 2020. Take care. I'll see you in a few. I'm going to be showing you around. Okay, guys, I'm going to start in front of my house. This is what we've done uh, for the front of the house. The lights in the roof are on the ceiling are not up, but I wanted to share this with you. Give you an overlook to the outside. Um, just a little bit so you can see what we've done. Uh, so the years have passed by. A couple of my items have depleted because they either break or the lights go so this is what he done my husband did all this he put the lights in the edge of the roof they go on automatically unfortunately they're not on but and i still have to do the root of eyes they fell off because of our paper that right there at the end and the uh, the wall i did that i decorated that as a 36 inch uh, wreath and i have my owl on top of the bush and my little fox that my daughter gave me for Christmas two years ago. I bought that angel this year at Target. And uh, I'm going to be going into the entrance of the house. It's a little tight, so bear with me. I'm sorry I'm so late. I have made some, and I'm sorry for the background noise, but I'm outside. I had this that I got last year and I made nice bows for it in both sides so i'll be showing you the entrance hold on a second okay this is the uh the entrance to the house i have two lanterns post lanterns here that i got i'm just showing you the angle first and i'll show you individually um that's what i did on the top of the uh main door and i am going to sorry I'm, shaky i'm trying to do this in this small space here this year i kept everything small here and light so i put a wreath there with two bows on each side and bells this is kind of a weird angle to videotape so i'm so sorry the garden says merry christmas it's metal i can't remember where i got it i think probably a hobby lobby my belief sign that i got a couple of years ago and over here i have the lantern i made a bow for it because to the side lights up automatically with it we had timers on everything that's my nice plant that's supposed to bloom in spring i don't forget the name just turning around to show you the other side i have this birdhouse that i got from hobby lobby that's on the floor and I got the other lantern on this side. At night is really pretty at night. Yeah, I'm sorry for the lighting, but uh, this is it. You can see the angel from this side. That's the one I got from Target this year. It's smaller than one I, I used to have, but it's beautiful. This is LED. Then I have this wonderful wreath that I made. Actually, I added, I just added the picks and the ribbon and is uh, I think it's a 24 inch wreath. Let me show you the top closer. I'm so sorry for all the sounds, guys, but, and this is how I did this garland here. Just to frame it. And I just left the greenery that was there, not the extra greenery and garlands and that red garland that you see on top, I got that a couple of years ago from Pier 1, Magnolia wreath, and it has, it came with all the poinsettias and um, it's Christmas balls. So let's go inside. Okay guys, this is what I did in the back of uh, the entrance door. It's a form that I had decorated a couple of years ago and I used it in different areas, some, sometimes in the door and stuff like that. So then... My daughter is trying to help me uh, videotape this. Then on this uh, mirror here, I hang this Ray Dunn, um, I guess, ornaments with uh, some uh, fishing lines. The 
they have those uh, little doughs that I got this year from uh, Home Goods on the shelf with a lantern that lights up on its own. And I just kept it very simple here because it's the entrance. I put the two candle holders and I get the pompas uh, uh, flowers on or whatever you call them, sticks. And we have the door, the garage door. I have done that. Uh, oh, I have them. Okay. Over here in this little stand, I have a Vento Santa and I install man. I said that Santa, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. The little bird is from Cracker Barrel. And this, this uh, snowman is from uh, home, home Goods. And then we have the door. I just put a simple, small uh, wreath that I made from different picks. Um, that's the garage door, so I get it simple because that's a door that we use a lot. So on this left side, okay, this is it. Turn it around. This is the area here I had this Santa that my daughter gave me last year for Christmas and then I have this two uh, I get their deer or whatever they are they have long things I got them this year on clearance from Hobby Lobby I paid $34 for them from $100 these I got from Home Goods this is from Pier One and this is from Home Goods and this is on the side table and then I have some pillows in underneath the table and some blankets uh, i have boots that i got from home goods and some picks and a little choo choo train that's supposed to be a piggy bank and then we have this area here where i switch um these are the calories that to turn on um that i got those calories i got them from cracker barrel this little uh, picture here is when my grandson was only a month and a half old. This is 15 years old. It lights up too. And I have this pillow I got from Home Goods on my bench. I put my bench on this side. Normally it goes on the other side where the mirror is. And this fellow here playing the drums was gorgeous. I saw it on uh, Home Goods and as soon as I saw it, I picked it up. I didn't even look at the price because it was very Mackenzie Child. Okay, now we're going to go into the living room. Table where my husband sit. I made it simple. I just put this little rock with horse here. A picture of my grandson when he was a couple of years old. Um, the blanket here, of course, you see is used. I kept this sign here. Okay, this year the living room and one of the dining room is very Celtic uh, kind of uh, idea. Everything is green with whites, and uh, of course, the, the chalk and the thing has to be here. I have my beautiful adornate. I stuff the animal on top of the, <laughs> the radon blanket. Say hello, Oreo. Hello. And then on top of the curtain rod, I have a Christmas magic I got from Michael's. And it has see, those strings that you see down this light that turn on in blink at night. And uh, I have the beautiful pillows I got. This I got from Kirkland. This is Home Goods. And then I have the truck here, that's from Kirkland's. And of course the green one in the back is hungry, because that's a pair of two. Then I put two uh, candles there, three candles there, just very simple because that's a side table. Get some of the stuff I had. And then I have this beautiful, I kept it simple because I want to focus on the picture. I got that picture from Kirkland's this year. He loved it, fell in love with it. And then on the little shelf, I put the little uh, doughs. And this train is from Kirkland's last year, and I put some snowballs. This, unfortunately, friend here had two. There were two, and when my husband was putting the tree down, I had already decorated my mantle, and he bumped into it and broke one. So I put it here so to decorate. And then I have my granddaughter's chair, and that's Mickey and Minnie from this year. I got them at CVS. No, sorry, TJ Maxx. And then I have these Billy pillow that I, I uh, got from Kirkland's. That last year I got it from Pier 1. Kept these flowers here. Well, greenery is just saying. Then I have another blanket I got from Home Goods. This is from Kirkland. I fell in love with this pillow. Of course, you know my living room is that big. 
And then I'm gonna go around here so my daughter can show you the tree. This is my masterpiece this year. I'm in love with this tree. Very Celtic. Uh, the idea, I got it and I have to give credit to him, to Chris Christopher. He has a YouTube channel. He also has a store. Uh, they sell retail and wholesale. But I got just an idea from him and this is how it looks. Uh, this is a seven and a half foot tree. My favorite start that changes color. So a lot of whites and greens, a lot of animals, of birds and white poinsettia, owls, very fussy uh, poinsettias here, a lot of picks like this and some uh, bronze color. These are from, it has a buck here and it's from uh, Holy, Hobby Lobby on a package. I got some pearls that I got from Hobby Lobby. This one is from Kirkland's, Kirkland's. These are from Kirkland's. That beautiful owl, I got it last year, I fell in love from Home Goods. And this is from Kirkland's. How I many of you might not notice it? My tree uh, goes around. I love the spinny tree. This little tree is from Kirkland's. This is Hobby Lobby. These ones, I think I got them from Home Goods. And I, I, I have all these green ones, so I added them in. Then I have this one I got from Hobby Lobby. This, this is from Home Goods. I got a bunch, they had a bunch of them and I bought all of them. They're big brown poinsettias. And of course, my beautiful, beautiful peacock. And we cannot say goodbye or anything, but we have Oreo's main piece up there. He's a centerpiece. <laughs> so it's about the animals and the owls and very, very, very Celtic idea. I mean, I'm hoping that, uh, that they're gonna have this year that I got from here one. And, and this is my beautiful, I love this, uh, what do you call that? Uh, three skirts, love it because it has like a village that goes around, and it goes very theme that I could imagine except blue. So, but she's gonna show you close by some of the things like the poinsettia so you can see how fussy they are. So, and the little birds hanging from the branches. All those branches were from uh, different places, um, like the one with the pine cones, one from Home Goods, the brown poinsettia from Home Goods, I got some from uh, Michael's. This one from, I think these ones were from Home Goods too. Majority of stuff. Did I have my presents here? Two presents there. And then over here we have our mantle. I got this from Michael's. This is from uh, Hobby Lobby. I have this from last year. I don't remember where I got them. This girl, I got it from Home Good. I paid pretty penny for it because I fell in love with it. Very full. This is from Hobby Lobby. This is a curtain ball. I have some of them on the tree. And then the precious moments. These are from Hobby Lobby this year. I fell in love with them. So I put them there. Very simple. And have the stockings with the letterings. They're already empty. Green, I got them from Kirkland. This is from Home Goods. This horse we've seen them before. Uh, over there, I have a story to tell you. I, used, I ordered a big uh, three inch, uh, three feet Santa Claus, never came. So I have that that my husband had gave me with the Holy Family. Uh, so I put it there on top of the uh, barrel. So I have this little fellow here. I sat him there, I wanted another one, I couldn't find him, so I just sat him there on top of those greeneries. And of course, I always have my fan because sometimes it gets too hot here. Then I have this Santa I got this year from Home Goods. This is from Pier One a couple of years ago. This is this year, I believe this is Kirkland, Hobby Lobby. This fellow here from Home Goods, I only found one, so that's why I put it. This is um, home goods and this masterpiece here that you see here is a DIY I did for topiary. See that I painted all this and put it together and I threw the greenery with my magnolias and the gold and the bottom has like a Mackenzie child kind of theme. So, okay, so that's all for the living room. She's gonna give you an overview of everything. Hope you enjoyed this year. I'm so sorry I'm so late. So, I 
show you the this is the I didn't put nothing on the slate. Um, the walls of course have the place I got from um, I think I got those from Hop, Hop, Hobby Lobby. And then of course I put some little thread to attach what's the key yeah. Um to attach um the red with the green that we're gonna come in into the kitchen. Um, of course this beautiful picture here. Okay, here we have this beautiful picture. I bought a Hobby Lobby. I have a reframe. Um, I bought it in New Jersey, so I took the frame off and I rolled it and my daughter shipped it to me. And now I believe I have this beautiful frame that we chose to put in it. I have the secretary here with plates and uh, the Bustana. These are things that I got. Uh, Dillers uh, that I had on the candle. And then all the set of plates here. Beautiful tree here. This I got from Hanzer. This tree I got, I got a couple of years ago, so I don't remember. This is from Michael's a while back. It's kind of a tight quarters here. So this is just a Santa's basket and I put it, I put the tree in there. And then over here we have the table. We have the chandelier. I added these beautiful, uh, what do you call them, beads, whatever you call them. And I uh, just hang it around to give it some kind of glam, kind of glare kind of thing. I made this bowl to put on the lanterns and on each side I have a, a char charger with a clay with trees. Very Celtic and very simple. This tablecloth is like uh, gold in this water. This is my antique table. Over here we have like a setting that if we're going to eat dessert on the, the cart, what do you call the bar cart. So I decorate it like that. And then if we go up, you know I always have this section here for America, uh, Patriots. So I put a garden across the frame of the entrance to the kitchen. And now we're going to go into Ginger Village. Okay, here we go. This year I took my cow and I put the scenery there. Uh, welcome to my gingerbread uh, village. Whatever, we're gonna be showing you a lot of gingerbread stuff. Of course, this is the other side of the entrance from the dining room, one of the dining rooms. I have a refrigerator I guess that my husband gave me this year. And I have a little um, to, to, to crease in the back on the scale. And I have uh, the snowman's that I got from Hobby Lobby. Then in top of the cabinet, the main cabinet, I put like a little village uh, with trees and everything, just like a, like if you were driving through and I put two, uh, two small garlands there, basically they bring things. And then over here I have my Ray Dunn uh, canister with my different stuff that I use every day. Um, this house, this kitchen is small, so everything has to fit. And then I have this on top of the refrigerator, but I took it down to put the other stuff. I have my Mackenzie Child uh, tea kettle. And this one I did, I painted this one. And then we have the gingerbread and greenery slate Santa here, like here. And this is the one that we used to dry. He has a butt there. And don't mind the stuff in the refrigerator, we live here. Then we have in the top, I have in both, I have two cabinets on each side. This one has a boot that I made out of a plastic bottle and I put a tree on top inside. Um, I have the other one on the other side, it's farmer's market. I kept the thin curtain with the flowers, I mean flowers in the floor, that's all. I have a gingerbread soap dispenser. I have a little container there, also gingerbread. And then I decorated with the greens and the reds some feathers to very, make it very whimsical. And then we have the gingerbread towels here in the bottom. And, you know, we use our towels. Over here, I took my Mackenzie pieces that I have, which is the creamer and the sugar bowl. This is a gift from Bella the Design that she sent to me from Canada, and I love it. And it has a two cup back here, has some candy in there. And behind there, I have um, Christmas season made on a Santa that I got uh, home goods and then Mary and Brian on the other side so from Baydan and then I have the creamer 
that Bella sent me. And then I have another tower here with Raydon and, and Candy. Reindeer snack, so a few pieces I have. And of course, since everything is gonna be candy and whimsical. And okay guys, here's a gingerbread village find that I got from Hobby Lobby that I think everybody has. This is my coffee station. I have some Raydon cup, the only ones I was able to find. We some hot cocoa sign from Hobby Lobby. This I got last year. I have Miriam right here, little elf back there. And then the Raydon pieces that I have in red, as you can see. I have this, my coffee maker is over there. So I do use this, this is my coffee maker, some spoons for Christmas. I got this from Hobby Lobby. This one's I don't remember, I think last year's Hobby Lobby, and this I got this year from Home Goods. And this, I don't remember where I got it, but I have uh, hot chocolate in there. And basically that's the coffee thing. I just show them. Oh, and here we have an overview of one of my uh, uh, vignettes of, uh, from the, it starts off slowly with animals and different sceneries, and then we go into the heavy gingerbread session uh, and, uh, as we go along. So here we have this garden with the cans of up to Christmas. Um, we have two snow things that I put up there. I have uh, my uh, I have my gingerbread cookie tray that I got at Kohl's. Uh, my little elf, I love this elf over here. This is uh, another piece that I got, I bought from uh, Bella de Design, such as her tray, with a couple of marshmallow cups, and some those in red and pink in the bottom. My toy soldier, I got this year from uh, Big Lot. I couldn't find another one similar to the one I got last year. And I have these pieces here, what is it called them? I forget the name. Or oh, Annalise. Or Ugly. Or Ugly. <laughs> my daughter doesn't like that, I love them. But I, could, I, didn't, I didn't buy too many of these shit because they were expensive uh, a Tuesday morning. I, the, ones that, the, ones, the few ones I bought, I got it from uh, Home Goods and they were a decent price state. This one I got this year and the snowman I got this year as well as that reindeer the other side. That's how I decorated that, and then I have my three little stockings with an initials that are spelled big, Brian, Liliana, and Gloria. Then I have my beautiful piece that I got this year from Tuesday morning, this Santa Claus. I am in love. It has music, but I didn't put it on because I didn't want to interrupt the video, but it moves and swings, and it has a doll and different toys attached to it. And I have my other uh, nutcracker that I got last year from uh Tuesday morning and I think one of the analysts fell. Let me see. The village. We have pieces here. Um, all these pieces are original. Um, I have the two trees that I decorated with different things, different uh, ornaments from Hobby Lobby. Uh, those gingerbread you see on the tree, they're uh, napkin rings that I found late uh, Christmas, uh, during Christmas. I have my place, cookies for Santa, and I have a cookie here for him. Milk, and then the gingerbread tree, my daughter gave me that tree as a Christmas present. And so is the train that it lights up. Uh, the countdown, never made it to, <laughs> so never changed date. So it says it's 17, but that's okay. Um, and I have those cups that, that look like gingerbread with a, that I got from Target this year, as well as the lollipop sticks that are sticking up. I got four of those, and then I got that little house from Blue, Blue Sky that lights up, you put a candle in it, um, gingerbread, and then I have some candies on this tray here, so that I got from Kohl's, and it has like fake candies and cookies, and reindeer snack on this side, of course it had the reindeers have to have, and then I got Santa, I can't remember what I got with Santa. I don't know if it was Big Lot or somewhere, you know, I go to so many stores and pick up things that I remember most of it, but sometimes I forget. So, then we have a little vignette here. Um, sorry, which I do squeeze around. There's a vignette there that I have with two nutcrackers and another candy plate and some 
uh, snow man and those uh, I got I made uh, those trees in the back from wood this year uh, they were selling them but I figured I can make it myself and I painted them and I have the family of snowman and then I have it baby in the floor I made out of wood I got that I don't really know I think it was of oh, oh, um, big nuts and then I have the table here the table has a centerpiece, very simple because this is the main table we use. Okay, here we have a centerpiece in the Lazy Susan. These are little people that I got from Michael's and I put them there. Um, this I got from um, Home Goods as well as the kettle on top. I got it from Home Goods and believe it or not, I have this holding uh, because people move things. I, I put like uh, glue dots on the, underneath so that way they don't move. If people knock into them, they don't knock it down. I had a little girl with a little uh, block there, go there uh, from Hobby Lobby. And then if you turn it around, we have Home Sweet Home, some cheese, the coffee, the gingerbread with the coffee, some napkins rolled up, and it goes around. And that's it. And then over here, I have the napkins that say, oh, snap. And uh, the placemats, uh, stretch placemats are from Home Goods. I all them says Joy. I got them this year. Then we're going to go. Okay, this is a part, the back part of the counter on the kitchen. So I have my friend here, um, the trees, I mean, it's obvious, the gingerbread, the cracker, and my two friends here, they dance and have music. This is a piece that I made this year. And decoration of flowers and stuff like that. So that's the back of the counter. Okay, welcome to Gingerbread Street. I'm just going to show you an overview of all the things. And we're going to start on the left side. I have an arrangement there with bows, as you see. My friends there sitting there. Uh, it's obvious you can see. Have some food there for them to eat. So this, I added this tree this year on each side of the cabinet. And the doors are behind. I made the lollipop myself. Some stuff I got from Michaels, you can recognize them. Those little candy that I roll up and hang it from it, I made them to pretend they're candy. The red street over here. I got those two trays this year. Uh, I think I got them from Home Goods. Took the two black and white Kenzo Chinese fire, or I painted those. And the arrangement I made, of course, the garland across. You can keep talking, I'm just going to. Uh, the villages this year, I didn't put the lights on because it's too much wiring to figure out where to go. So I have a different little shelves. I have different uh, things. And this is two le three letters that says big there hanging from candy. And the gingerbread cookies and gingerbread man and the houses, the bakery. Uh, a lot of that stuff. Uh, the bakeries and the trailer I got from Hobby Lobby. And the other bakery I got from Home Goods. I love bakeries. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a lot of these pieces that I've been collecting. I also have the back nutcrackers are that have the cupcakes and the candy. I bought those at Home Hobby Lobby this year. And the two brown trees I got them from Tuesday morning. And all the little figurines I bought them from Michaels this year. They have a bunch of little packages of figurines. I have the two big gingerbread are from Hobby Lobby. And then I have, I know crackers, the two tower houses are from Tuesday morning. And some of these pieces I bought um, online, so. Just so you guys know, I'm taking all her gingerbread nut crackers when I uh -huh. move out. When you move out, I don't think so. That's my favorite thing. Every year, everything else can stay to the way but my gingerbread collection has to come out. I love the gingerbread. So I put two chairs on each side to complement the trees. 
And these two fellows are so cute. They also have two skinny ones that stand up, but I like this one when they took them out. So I love them, so those gingerbread. So now we're gonna go, you know, we have a little barrel there and the fellows, the fellows that said cookies and two other fellows hanging there. And all four of these little things I got from, uh, those are the sitting in the back of the chairs I got them from Hobby Lobby. I look for specific okay, here we go. This is the one I'm gonna stand in this corner here with uh, the um the little uh card barrel barrel whatever with a reindeer and a right little poinsettias and little sticks and beautiful flowers and poinsettias hanging on the wall and a nice tree. And then I have my tree that I decorate with different for different seasons with my carolers around. I got those carolers of mine uh, a couple of years ago. And then we have the village. This village, I just, uh, it's so beautiful. I just decorated it up. And this is how I did it. It's here. Um, you see a close up of it. Make me believe it's, uh, you know. Sorry for the noise, we're outside again. showing you the different stations and then we have the nativity that's the reason for the season next to the church then i have a huge tree well that's a huge tree there but it's not huge it's just supposed to go on the floor but i put it there to maybe believe that it's uh the star of david uh of course it's red it's not yellow <laughs> but it has um another village there sitting there with the houses and stuff like that and it lights up at night when I take, I have the lights over light because I'm videotaping this at night. So I have this other tree, it's white, the reindeer going around. I got this piece this year that goes around, I didn't put it on motion because the tree is not strong enough to hold the weight. So I just left it and I maybe leave the sand that's flying around the nativity and the houses and the village. And you know, I can, of course I have my plant behind this and a Santa's mailbox, my Merry Christmas pillow and then I have you know those um, some lanterns on the floor you know and the mailbox so the lanai I have my table that is also a star show but I have the main reason and I this is gonna be uh, almost the end of the video I have a book that I made and this so this is the um, main reason for the season though if you said that he wasn't born in December but nevertheless we celebrate and thank God for his coming and for giving you the hope of God. Okay here I just put some lights hanging around my plants next to the fountain and I put um over here on the lights I put just a little garlic and wrap around the light and we're gonna this here is a, the, my present this year that my daughter gave me, which I love it. I can see everybody's video better. And I want to thank everybody. I'm eating a candy. Thank you for coming by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give me some thumbs up. And don't forget the blessings that we have regarding what's going on in the world. Blessings to all of you. May the Lord protect you and have a great, I hope you had a great Christmas and have a happy, happy New Year's. Um, hopefully I'll be trying to see if my daughter can edit opening the presents and maybe I'll be able to share that with you. So until then, love you guys to the moon and back. Take care, bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas!